What's up, everybody? Welcome to Hop LA Events on Tap, episode 50. Oh, covering all the awesome things happening in LA beer this week. So we're back in the backyard. Home sweet home, baby. Home sweet home. We are welcoming, welcoming Gary back from a weekend trip to Zion, which I heard was incredible. Yep. Taking it easy, but drinking some really good beer per usual. And this episode is unofficially sponsored by Celador. Only because we're drinking Celador beer, we have Celador glassware. We're talking about Celador this episode because they're about to celebrate their second anniversary. Not only that, but their membership is about to open up. So a lot of cool, excited things happening with Celador that we're gonna get into really, really quickly. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna jump right in on the membership uh, side of things because you have to act quickly. There's a wait list and you need to get on it if you want a chance to get in on this year's membership. Um, there's a lot of people in it, and once you're in, you tend not to leave because it's so good. We, we were in for this past year, and we got such good beer, uh, really cool private events that they throw. You can sign up by September 20th. you got a couple days to do it, um, and but that doesn't guarantee you a spot. That's just a wait list, If it right? doesn't sell out to the previous wait list segments before you, um, starting on September 28th, you may get a shot at purchasing your membership. Um, so sign up for that wait list. All right, let's talk about Celador's upcoming anniversary. All right, they're celebrating two years, October 6th from 11 to 9 p.m. in their tap room. Super excited for this one. Yeah, this is North Hills in the Valley. They're releasing their second anniversary beer. They're gonna be tapping a whole bunch of special beer from them that you never see. They'll have some food on site. And just, if you've never been to their location, drinking in their barrel room, it's a really, really cool experience. Um, the people that work at Celador are all really, really awesome and friendly. And the community that they've built is a super fun one to be a part of. So we highly recommend you guys going out there on October 6th and checking it out. Yes. So with that, let's pop open some Celador beer. And there's, you know, reasons why we picked the ones that we did here today. Um, I'll just kind of start with Seconds. This is their first anniversary beer, a Wild Ale aged twice on organic apricots. Mm. Sounds really good. I remember this one being yeah. super, super good. And we are also drinking Confuzzled. So this one is batch two. Uh, from last year, they just released Batch 3 uh, this past weekend. I don't know, it might still be on sale. So they just released Batch 3, so we thought, what better time to throw back to Batch 2, taste that one again, um, and just fucking enjoy it. This one is a sour blonde with mango, guava, and pineapple. My mouth is already salivating. Yeah, yeah we're about to get down on some fruited sours right now. Yep, yeah. let's do it. Oh, there we go. See, that's a weird way to do it, too. No, I'm a weird guy. Yeah, weird dude, Ace. <laughs> Ooh, fizzy. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Let's give him a whirl. Crowbar's up. The nose is whew, gnarly. I mean, I could just sit in there for days. I mean, this one's just refreshing on the nose. It's just a ton of tropical fruit. Really, really tart. I'm not surprised. Very, very little sweetness and a bunch of wood. Just a bunch of oak. Um, great mixture, though. Like, just a, a wonderful balance of fruit and oak on this and just the right amount of acidity. It's puckering me, but it's not doing it in an, in an over the top way that is unenjoyable. It's really, really good. Regarding seconds, I have strikingly very similar uh, things to say about that one. Still, this one makes your lips pucker, um, but the fruit isn't over the top. It, it carries a, a nice bit of sweetness to kind of, you know, battle that that acidity a little bit. But overall, this thing has Give me that. this thing is aged very well. Uh, it's fucking delicious. These are these two are very much in the same wheelhouse. Yeah, I'll try. It. And I think you you still pick up a little bit of the the oak in this one there too. You got it. Oh, you did. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, you get oak, you get... I think this is a little bit more of, like, juicy yeah. tartness. Um, I can smell it, too. Yeah, a little bit of, like, juicy fruit. Um, There's a lot going on with this one. Yeah, they're both incredibly oh, wow. complex, but in an approachable way. It's refreshing, it's tart, it's delicious. Yeah, and you just take little sips at a time, you just enjoy it. It's actually the first time that I'm using this glass. 
Seems very appropriate. Yeah, I love it. Time to talk about some events coming up this week and in the weeks to follow. Put some things on your guys' radar. All right, we're gonna kick off this week's events on Wednesday, September 19th, starting at 5 p.m. It's a one night stand with Arrow Lodge Brewing, one of our favorites, at Beer Belly in Koreatown. The tap list looks insane. We have at least 10 beers on at Beer Belly uh, for this one night stand. Hazy IPAs, um, their Nelson Dry Hopped IPL, a Saison, a Goza, kind of a lot of beers across the board. Arrow Lodge is killing it, so <laughs> go out there and drink them. Yeah. Also on Wednesday, this one's starting at 7 p.m. over in West LA. The Stocking Horse is having a Brews and Bites beer and food pairing dinner. This one sounds super awesome. Uh, Noah, the head brewer there who we just collaborated with on an event, uh, love his beers. He does a great job. They're putting together a really delicious looking menu of their beers and their food coming out of their kitchen there. Um, this one has kind of a, a, you know, the Stocking Horse has a British uh, pub theme type of vibe and the menu follows suit. It sounds delicious and it is a pretty affordable event as well. Four courses for 39 bucks. Not too shabby. Not bad. All right, next up, Thursday, September 20th, starting at 4.30 p.m. This one is another Aero Lodge event. This one's happening at Southland Beer in Koreatown. They're throwing on six beers, um, ranging from Milk Stout, the Goza, Pale mm. Ale, some IPAs. Uh, I would imagine they're going to have some cans to go for sale, so can't go wrong there. It's going to be a good time in Koreatown. Go check out Southland Beer. Yeah, if you can't make it Wednesday, then just go Thursday. Right? Might as well. Yeah. All right, then on Friday, September 21st, starting at 11 in the morning, and this one's going all weekend long, Stone Company Store in Pasadena is celebrating their sixth anniversary, and they're doing this one big. Every single day has a special tap list of beers that you really don't see them tapping ever at all. A bunch of archive stuff, old vintage stuff. Stone beers that you've never heard of before. Right, um, <laughs> pretty in intense looking menu here. Um, so head to our website, check out the list for each day and just pick the one that works for your schedule. Pick the one that makes you the most thirsty. All right, next up, Saturday, September 22nd, happening pretty much all day. There's a slew of Oktoberfest going on this weekend. Yeah. Tis the season for Oktoberfest. A lot of them are kicking off this weekend. Uh, we have a handful happening on Saturday. Uh, one at Mount Low, one at King Harbor. Uh, Poke Oktoberfest happening out in Santa Clarita. Um, so all around Los Angeles, Oktoberfests are popping up. Head over to hopdelaycom slash events and check out what is coming up. Yeah, so many Oktoberfest events. And that kind of leads us into what's coming up uh, later on this month. There's more. There's more Oktoberfest events going on Imagine all that. through September. So, like Max said, go to our website, check them all out. There's a bunch of really cool ones. Yeah, celebrate in style. All right, so that does it for this week's events. Let's look at what's coming up later on this month. Kicking it off with a really special day at McKellar in downtown LA. They're having a Canteon party in which they're bringing out a bunch of fantastic Canteon beers. Um, we talked about them last week, one of the most sought after, sought after breweries in the world. Um, not only that, in true McKellar style, they're busting out a bunch of rare breweries. Hill, Farmstead, Sante Adarius, um, we got Jester King beers, um, yeah, Degard. Yeah, a lot of Degard on there, yeah. It's an insane tap list. I think they're doing bottles. Tap list, bottle list, it's all going down at McKellar in downtown LA. Yeah, this is a big one. Saturday, September 29th. Hit that up. Yeah, starts at 11 a.m. Get there early. This is going to be an early crowd uh, trying to get on those rare bottles. So if you want anything in particular on that list, uh, make sure you get there on time. So also on Saturday the 29th, Ogo Pogo Brewing Company, they're in San Gabriel. They're celebrating their grand opening. So they've been in soft opening mode for about a month or two. Yep. A month or two or so. Um, and now they're finally opening up the doors in official fashion and you're going to be able to drink a bunch of their beers they're going to have food um they're going to have some music a bunch of fun stuff there and it's always nice to celebrate with a new brewery in la um and 
you know, take it for what it's worth. Some breweries will open up and you know bust open the doors and let everyone in and kind of announce their grand opening right off the bat, whether their beers are ready or not. I appreciate when you know a brewery kind of takes their time, soft opens for a bit, and then you know dials in the system and gets everything going so i'm excited to try a bunch of their beers i'm definitely going to try to make it down there i have not been yet um and yeah tickets are what how much 25 bucks 25 bucks for tickets uh, i've been hearing really really good things about the beers um and shout out to our boy guillermo who's uh who's back there helping out behind the bar at ogopogo yep so purchase a ticket and head out there on the 29th and celebrate a grand opening. I think you could hit McKellar and them in the same day, probably. All right, well, you know what? We're gonna finish taking down these Celador beers. Don't forget to check them out for their second anniversary, October 6th. They are awesome people, awesome brewery, awesome community. Can't say it enough. They're Celador, awesome. Celador Ales. Yes. See you guys next week. Drink Indie. And drink local. <laughs>